While it's not typical to provide details of an ongoing investigation, this, as we all know, is an extraordinarily tragic set of circumstances of the utmost national importance, making it essential to inform the American public and Congress what is known right now with full transparency. I want to thank all involved for their ongoing and tireless efforts to get the answers that we need and to deliver justice. On July 3rd, the rally in Butler, Pennsylvania was announced. On July 6th, the shooter registered to attend the rally and performed a search for, quote, how far was Oswald from Kennedy. On July 7th, the shooter traveled from his home to the Butler Farm Show grounds and remained there for approximately 20 minutes. We assess this shows advanced planning and reconnaissance on his part. On July 12th, the shooter traveled from his home to the Clareton Sportsman Club, where he practiced shooting. On the morning of July 13th, at approximately 10 a.m., the shooter returned to the farm show grounds and remained there for about 70 minutes before returning home again. At approximately 1.30 p.m., while at the residence, the shooter's father gave him a rifle for the purpose, he believed, of going back to the sportsman club. About 25 minutes later, the shooter, the shooter purchased ammunition while en route to the Butler Farm Show grounds. The subject then arrived at the scene and was moving around the farm show grounds close to the American uh, Glass Research AGR building from which he ultimately committed the attack. Shortly thereafter, at approximately 3.51 p.m., the shooter flew a drone approximately 200 yards from the farm show grounds for about 11 minutes. The drone and controller were later found in the subject's car. Analysis has not revealed any photos or video taken by the drone, but we can confirm that he was live streaming at the time and would have been able to view, to view it on his controller. The first reported sighting of the shooter by local law enforcement was at approximately 4.26 p.m. At approximately 5.10 p.m., the shooter was again identified by local law enforcement as a suspicious person around the AGR building. And at approximately 5.14 p.m., a local SWAT operator took a photo of the shooter. At about 5.32 p.m., local SWAT observed the shooter next to the AGR building using his phone, browsing news sites, and with a range finder. At approximately 5.38 p.m., the photo of the shooter taken earlier was sent to local SWAT operators in a text message group. Subsequently, Approximately 25 minutes prior to the shooting, the U.S. Secret Service command post was notified of a suspicious person. Officers lost sight of the subject from approximately 6.02 p.m. to 6.08 p.m., but continued to communicate with each other in an attempt to locate him. Recently discovered video from a local business shows the shooter pulling himself up onto the AGR building rooftop at approximately 6.06 p.m. And at approximately 6.08 p.m., the subject was observed on the roof by local law enforcement. I could not, and I will not, and I cannot understand why there was not better coverage or at least somebody looking at that roof line when that's where they were posted. Based on what I know right now, neither the Secret Service counter sniper teams nor members of the former president's security detail had any knowledge that there was a man on the roof of the AGR building with a firearm. It is my understanding those personnel were not aware the assailant had a firearm until they heard gunshots. Prior to that, they were operating with the knowledge that local law enforcement was working an issue of a suspicious individual prior to the shots being fired. At approximately 6.11 p.m., a local police officer was lifted to the roof by another officer, saw the shooter, and radioed that he was armed with, quote, a long gun. Within approximately the next 30 seconds, the shots were fired. If you uh, want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. Oh. He did have concealment uh, and then ultimately gets into firing position and fires. And within 15.5 seconds of his first shot, 
he's neutralized. The evidence recovery team found eight shell casings at the scene next to the shooter's body. We believe that the subject, the shooter, fired eight rounds. Something just very recently uncovered that I want to share is a social media account which is believed to be associated with, this, with the shooter in about the 2019-2020 time frame. Some of these comments, if ultimately attributable to the shooter, appear to reflect anti-Semitic and anti-immigration themes to espouse political violence and are described as extreme in nature. Thus far, though absolutely nothing has been ruled out, the investigation has not identified a motive, nor any co-conspirators or others with advanced knowledge. These are the facts, in part, you know, that the investigation has revealed to date. While the shooter is dead, our work is very much ongoing and urgent. You're asking me, Senator, to completely make a rush to judgment about somebody failing. I acknowledge this was a failure of the Is it not service. prima facie that somebody has failed? A former president was sir, shot. Sir, this could have been our Texas School Book Depository. I have lost sleep over that for the last 17 days, been just like you have. somebody and to I hold will tell them you, accountable. Senator, I will tell you, Senator, that I will not rush to judgment, that people will be held accountable, and I will do so with integrity and not rush to judgment and put people I can't unfairly you persecuted. Are, I, unfairly persecuted? Unfairly, we got people sir, who are we dead. We have to be able to have a proper investigation into this. What if we had geolocated him because that counter UAS platform had been up? It is something that I have struggled with to understand, and I have no, I have no explanation for it. Okay. It is something that I feel as though we could have perhaps found him. We could have maybe stopped him. I will not wait for the results of those findings to assess where we failed that day. I have taken and will continue to take immediate steps to ensure we do not repeat those failures.